Hey guys, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an added column to a grid in a section using generate blocks. All right, so here's our demo page and we're going to address this first section that uh, has a two column layout currently, but we want to make it three columns where well, we're going to duplicate this container to create a secondary list of featured items. So let's go edit the page. and come on down to our section we're going to address and first we're going to duplicate this container that's holding our featured item list so within the container under your grid click the plus icon to duplicate that grid item now it's automatically going to drop down to the next row because the width of these three containers together is now equal to greater than 100 percent so we need to change the width so that uh, they match 100 percent total so let's see what this first grid is 66% with. Let's go ahead and change that one to 50. Come to our first list here and drop it down to 25. And then come to this last container and drop that to 25 as well. Now you see actually they're all under the same section uh, lined up nicely. Uh, we can actually go into the grid here and change the vertical alignment to let's say center. Um, that might look a little bit better design wise and say those come to our page refresh and there we have it. now what you can do as well if we come back to the edit page um, say we just wanted to add another grid but put some different content there um, what you can do is simply delete out the content from your section that you duplicated and now you can start from scratch. You can add um, an image here. So we can drop in an image. Um, we could put whatever it is now, a heading, copy, anything else you can add on to that new column in your grid. Now say uh, we have a section that is maybe only one column uh, wide without already two columns in place. Um, we can go ahead and create that so I could show you. Uh, so if we had grid, put in a new grid, and we just said one column width, um, we'll put in a headline, say test headline, and um, let's say Ipsum 3, some copy. And so now this is a new grid. Uh, with the headline and some copy and it's full width, but now we say okay I want to add a new column next to that um, You can use the same method by highlighting the container in that grid hitting duplicate grid item and Then adjusting the width again, so we'll go ahead and make this 50% and then make this one 50% and you can go ahead and delete these items remove remove and again feel free to add whatever content it is that you need uh, in the end always make sure that you adjust the horizontal gap in your um, grids to make sure that the content is not touching in the middle so horizontal gap is a space in between the two columns or three columns however many you might have so this one we might add 40 pixels of column gap And that's it. So that's how you can uh, adjust new columns and generate blocks using the grid block. Hope you found this useful and we'll see you next time.